Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me again. Uh, I've got a short one for you today. This is just a sort of a demo and review of an Angelbird CF Express card. I talked about it on social media. I don't think I talked about it on YouTube, but I talked about it on social media when I bought it. I took a chance on it. It was very well priced, like $479 at B&H, which is where I bought it. And I said at the time that, you know, I'll put it through its paces and report back. So that's what I'm doing. Um, this is not going to be a scientific or exhaustive test or demonstration. Those have been done by lots of people and they've been done well. So I don't need to try and do that again. What I do want to do is just sort of do a quick demo, you know, run it till the buffer's full, compare it to a Dulcan Black that I use, um, which is not even a direct comparison, but just to give a, an idea. So I use this card mostly for video, and I shoot 8K and 4K 120 uh, pretty exclusively. It's performed great. I have used it for photo, and it has performed great for that as well. So no problems. And this is about a little over a month worth of shooting, and I've done a lot of shooting over a month. I've probably put, you know, dozens of hours <laughs> of video onto this thing, and, you know, maybe 5,000 photos. So... It's gotten some use, and it has performed perfectly, and it has never filled the buffer, um, and it has never had a problem heating. Uh, it gets a little warm. If I shoot a lot of 8K video, it'll get a little bit warm, but it never gets hot. It has never caused any problem with that. Reading the files off of it has always been fine, and that's with a non-Angel Bird reader. I do have an Angel Bird reader, which I'm not terribly happy with. That's a separate topic. Um, but using a prograde reader, it works perfectly fine. So so to quantify my experience a little bit, I'm just new a real quick demo here. And I'm going to record this screen so you can see it. And uh, yes, I do know that that actually slows it down, but it slows it down equally for both cards. So it's kind of a wash. First, I want to make sure That the card's formatted, and this is the Delkin Black, and it's only a 128, so it's a very small, pretty small card compared to the, the one terabyte, and I know that makes a difference too, so again, not scientific. The camera is set to manual, the lens is set to manual focus, so there should be no processor lag for any of those things, and here we go. Okay. And that gave us 69 photos before it uh, started to hiccup. All right, so let's format the Angel Bird card. All right. Do the same test. Run it till the buffer starts to uh, fill. Okay. And that gave us 55. So not quite as fast as the Delkin Black, and that's kind of been my experience, although I've done a couple of these tests just to see for myself along the way over the past couple of weeks, and sometimes they're neck and neck, sometimes one is a little faster than the other, but no huge performance difference. So when it comes to value for the price, I definitely will recommend this Angelbird card, uh, the one terabyte. Uh, let me give you the numbers real quick. Maximum read is 1785 megabytes per second. Maximum write, 1550 megabytes per second. And this is the most important number. The sustained write, minimum sustained write speed is 1300 megabits per second. Megabytes, I'm sorry, per second. So uh, that's, it's pretty good, pretty good specs. And it has performed fine for me for a little over a month. I'm very happy with it. If anything changes and all of a sudden it craps out on me, I'll let you know. I'll update this, but it's good to go as far as I'm concerned, and I think really a nice value. So if you're looking for a fast card with great storage at a great price, this is a good one. Thanks for watching. I'd appreciate it if you go hit the like button for me, and if you don't subscribe, go hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Uh, I do have more stuff coming and planned. Uh, one thing is a little bit of a teaser. I do have the 800 millimeter PF lens on pre-order, and it's an NPS pre-order, so I do expect to hopefully be among the first to get it. And I'm definitely, 
going to share my thoughts with that. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.